So, I've done a video on Con's bass tone, one on their super heavy guitar sounds, so I figured it only makes sense to keep it going because their effects really are one of the most fascinating things about Korn. The way that they create crazy atmospheres and just add new dimensions to their songs with the effects they use is something I think there's no other band that does it the way they do it and it's they've just done so many different weird sounds over the years. So I've loaded up a bunch of my go-to sounds that are all pretty heavily inspired by Korn. So we'll just run through what they all sound like and then we'll go through the building blocks that work together to create that corn vibe. I am using plugins here. If you're doing this the old fashioned way with just effects pedals and amps, the same principles apply. It's just instead of it being a chorus here, it will be, you know, your chorus pedal. So firstly, here's what they all sound like. Do a couple of them together. So that's four effects tracks, which are all quite varied and sort of different sounding, but uh, we'll get into all the effects in a minute. And really, there's a few core effects that when you use them together, you can kind of get as creative as you want from there, and it will still probably have that corn sort of vibe. But one of the main things that will give it a corn vibe is the notes that you use. They sometimes just use like the minor scale with stuff like falling away from me. Like That's just natural minor. Such a cool riff. Um, but most of the time they tend to do something more dissonant. They'll use a lot of minor seconds, flat fifths, minor sixths minor thirds and they do a lot of just like horror music inspired stuff i mean i don't know if that's what they're thinking when they're writing it but they do they do a lot of kind of note choices that you would hear in a horror soundtrack where it's just like, like that isn't a corn song but it sounds like one so yeah there's a lot of close together notes often they'll just go straight down uh in chromatic so that's always something to bear in mind if you want that corn sound Minor seconds especially. We'll just give you that kind of uncomfortable vibe which is unmistakably corn. And effects wise, looking through all of these, they're all very different. But I would say overall, the formula. So they all have chorus, they all have a lot of distortion, and they all have either reverb, reverb or delay. Um, let's go with this one. Really, their effects don't sound that much like a guitar, so you want to kind of mask the fact that it's, you know, it doesn't sound like Hendrix or something. It doesn't sound like a 60s vintage guitar sound. It sounds weird. And yeah, one of the first things that I tend to do is throw it through a chorus effect, because that just throws your ear off, makes it sound a little strange. So throw it through a chorus, and then a shit ton of distortion, and then time-based stuff. I think I've basically done different combinations of that. I've done some pitching, some vibrato, which is basically chorus, gives you vibrato anyway. Uh, distortions. Yeah, it's really, this one I went a little different, went into a reverb straight away. But basically, this, this it's a pretty simple formula. As long as we've got a chorus going into a load of distortion and some time-based effects, you can pretty much do what you want from there and it'll just sound like corn. And I don't know if that's exactly what they do, but from my experiments from years of trying to sound like corn, that's what I've found is the formula. And from there you can add tremolo, you can add ring mod, any kind of weird effects, whammy, they they kind of use everything. But I would say those three effects, chorus, distortion, and reverb or delay is the basis of Korn's effects. So that's how I go about replicating their effects sounds. I hope that you found this helpful and let me know whatever you guys want to see me covering more of on this channel. Thanks for watching.